class. I'm back from spring break and I think I'm ready to tackle this section of my desk. Full disclosure, I actually cleared this all off in May last year when I did my mania cleaning sweep and I promised myself then I would not let it get like this again. But I don't know what it is. This is the dead zone. This is where when everything piles up around the house of my crafting stuff, I just put it here and say I'll get to it and I don't. And I so want to use this space. And my husband so wants me to use this space instead of the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, and his office. So I'm gonna set my timer for an hour and I'm gonna see how much of this fabric and stuff I can get picked up. And we'll report back and see. Wish me luck. Okay guys. Full disclosure, this is 15 minutes in, and though it's still a pile of stuff, we're starting to see the desk again. And before you think that I just reshuffled it, I did not. I am actually putting the fabric up or cutting it into little squares for backings. Um, found some just junk that could be thrown away, pieces, random pieces of paper, little bitty pieces of backer board that I keep, and then I wonder why. But look, look, there's some desk. Let's see what 15 more minutes does. Bulk progress is definitely slowing down, but this is another 15 minutes. So we are 45 minutes into this. There's still, there's more space showing on the table, but now comes the more detailed work. So what I like to do with my fabric is either, if they're small pieces, I will cut them up with one of my little two and a half quilter squares. And then I get my pinkering shears and trim the edges. And now these are ready to back pillows when um, I do my FFOs. And I like to have these done when I can because it makes the FFO go faster. And I find that I put it off less when I can just go in and pick pieces and they're already done and just need to be stitched. With my bigger pieces, I fold them and iron them into seven by five sections. And give me a second and I'll show you how I store all of my fabric. So I am fortunate enough to have um, a walk-in closet in my studio. And so my larger pieces of fabric, I um, store on comic book boards. And I got this idea from Nicole Spore and Carrie Tiger Lily. I love watching their videos. I love watching their fabric walls. And so when I started reorganizing last year, this is what I did. And then in the middle are kind of like my fat quarter bundles and smaller pieces. And these containers are actually for the refrigerator. Um, and I got them at like Home Goods and Home Sense. They are by color, and then over here they're by season. Same with this fabric down here. It's kind of more seasonal or it has kind of a themed pattern. And in the middle, I have two bins. And this is where I store my little scraps, zigzagged for my pillow backings. And then here is where I store all my felt that I cut up. I had those eight and a half by 11 sheets and I gave a lot of way, but this is what I've kept of my felt. And then I have a small container that I've cut up of my scraps in square pieces as well. And then here's all of my fabric from Lady.Creates that um, the Velveteen that I have to find a place for. So that's why I was saying that now comes the tedious part of what is left on my desk because they're not pieces that are big enough to put on the comic book board. And honestly, what's left isn't even big enough to fold up into these seven by five pieces for here. So I'll probably be now cutting them up for my little patches for my pillows, but 
that's basically, hold on, I'll flip you, well, I'll stop and then I'll flip you around again. That's definitely gonna take more than 15 minutes, but we're seeing the desk and progress is progress. And as someone said once, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So that was an hour today. I've learned that 15 minutes a day is not enough for major cleanup. I think for keeping it tidy in the future, a good 15 or 30 minutes at the end of the day to put everything away, if I could start that habit, would be fabulous. Um, but I'll probably spend a little bit more time today going through a little bit more of this. And uh, hopefully within the next week, all of this table will be ready for me to be able to craft on again. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Bye.